My name is Manuel Massa and I welcome you to my third Angry Engine for tutorial. In the first two tutorials you have learned how to set up your Angry Engine for Angry Engine 4 for cloth editing and uh, create a flag on Blender and import it to Angry Engine 4. In this in-between video tutorial I will show you the, show you the differences between brush and the uh, gradient tool. So let's uh, jump right into uh, our Angry Engine 4 editor. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I've created um, two folders with the flag asset we've created in the last tutorial. And uh, at first, I want you to show the rush tool. So first, let's create a cloth asset for the rush flag and apply it and go right into the paint tools. Select the asset. And now you can uh, set the radius of your brush, as you can see, and uh, the paint value of the brush. I al always use 1000. Um, this 1000 uh, basically means the distance that the single vertices can go. If you choose a lower value for this, uh, the end or the tip of this leg might not be able to fall uh, all to the ground. So I always choose 1000. 1000. So the brush tool is selected, a value of 1000 is selected, and now I paint everything I want to move with a little smaller brush, everything I want to move with the value of 1000. Okay, of course, of course I'm not painting everything, because if you would paint, or if you paint the whole flag, um, it would just to the ground. So this is it. The flag is simulating well. And now let's jump into the gradient flag. Here I will basically do the same. Right click it with the section selection. Right click, create cloth set. And then Apply the cloth set and enable the paint tool. This time I will use the gradient tool. And the gradient tool basically um, creates a transition from one value to a second value. In this case, uh, my first value will be 0 and the end value will be 1000. The 0 value I will paint with will paint the part I don't want to move, the start of this, so it's the beginning of the flag. Then I hit enter and paint the end of the flag with a value of 1000. This will create the transition from the value of 0 to the value of 1000. So now I hit enter again and as you can see a transition has been created uh, let's check the result and as you as you can see here's an error this is uh, something you have to take care of because the paint has uh, applied to both sides uh, because if you don't start at the beginning of your mesh with the gradient paint then um, the gradient will be cake related to both sides so to get rid of this, I fastly change into brush mode again, set the brush size of 10 and the paint value of 0, and then brush out the parts I don't want to move here. Okay, disable paint tool, and uh, this should be it. Okay, now to compare, compare them both. And see the differences. I put the gradient flag and the brush flag into workspace. And um, now we can see the differences. So if you look closely, you can see that the flag that has been painted with the brush uh, has a value of uh, 1000 for every vertice to move. It's strictly falling to the ground. And the other flag that has been created with the gradient tool um, is uh, falling to the ground more smoothly, let's say smoothly. 
This comes in handy when you are creating skirts or cloaks for your character because um, uh, cloth uh, parts that are closer to your character uh, aren't able to move that um, far and this will create a little bit more realism for it. So this should be it for the middle in between tutorial. Um, now you know the difference between the rush and the gradient tool. And I would say if you liked this video consider subscribing or give it a like or if you got any questions uh, write a comment below. And uh, let's say I see you in the next video.